Hi, this is Arun here. This is the third session on LifeRay tutorials. Here I am going to explain you how we can set up a development environment using LifeRay SDK and Eclipse IDE. I am using the latest version of LifeRay SDK and Eclipse IDE which is Juno. There is different ways available for setting up a LifeRay development environment. The first one is you can download LifeRay IDE from your uh, LifeRay website and LifeRay is providing a LifeRay, web, um, LifeRay IDE as well as a LifeRay Studio. You can use any of this for LifeRay plugin development. Also you can configure your existing Eclipse IDE for um, making it as a LifeRay development environment. First I am going to show you how you can download a LifeRay IDE from LifeRay.com visit liferay.com and click on downloads link and here you can see liferay ide click on liferay ide here you will be prompted with liferay ide as well as the liferay developer studio and i am using liferay eclipse juno ide for my compute for my com system and if you are using some other machines like mac or linux you can select it and download and that will be giving you a integrated LifeRay plus Eclipse IDE and there you can start your developments. And the second way you can you can configure your Eclipse IDE, your existing Eclipse IDE which I have opened over here my Ecl existing Eclipse IDE with the LifeRay updated site. You can install new software you can click on help and install new software and here you can type uh, your <coughs> liferay update site for juno and you can uh, add that site that will provide you the plugins or else uh, already i have downloaded the liferay id eclipse update site and you can download it from net and what you can do is add this particular one over here from liferay i'm giving the liferay eclipse ide site and i'm giving it as liferay oh oops liferay ide i'm just clicking on this and selecting this will provide you selecting this will provide you a liferay ide and your liferay ide dependencies and these you can install in your uh, existing Eclipse by clicking on next now now you can click on finish now you can click on finish it will install and restart your eclipse and that time you will be seeing a different eclipse ide there you can start your development works let's wait for uh, installing this particular uh, liferay updates yeah now my liferay uh, <laughs> liferay ide got restarted liferay ide or i can say it is an eclipse eclipse has got restarted and you can see few more icons uh, added over here with new liferay project and all those items are here here i can create new portal at new hook and uh, this is something called liferay sdk and now we need to configure the liferay sdk okay how we will configure liferay sdk first we need to download this particular plugin liferay plugins sdk 6.1.1 ce that is i have downloaded you can download it from github url from here so you can directly go to github and search for liferay plugins sdk you will be getting this and you can download it as a zip file and I have extracted the liferay SDK in my local. Now I need to configure the liferay SDK in my Eclipse. For configuring liferay in Eclipse, you need to click on Windows, Preferences, 
you'll be seeing here in the left hand side you can see life ray here installed SDKs here uh, I already have one another uh, life ray SDK installed here I want to uh, add my life ray SDK I just remove this and I'm going to add the new SDK which I have downloaded in my desktop here I have life ray SDK 6.1 in my life ray folder I'll be selecting that I'm clicking on OK so now my SDK got added over here now I need to add a runtime environment so here I have a server and here I wanted to add my life ray server over here so with for uh, adding the runtime environment life ray runtime environment with uh, Eclipse I click on add and going to life ray incorporate and this one by default in your Eclipse it will not be having this is added because we have installed the life ray development plugins so here I am selecting life ray 6.1 CE and Tomcat 7 and clicking on next and here I have browsed up my life ray folder this is my life ray folder uh, which is in the desktop I'll show you in the desktop I have life ray folder and inside the life ray folder I have the life ray portal tomcat so I'm just clicking on that so it will be configured over here and the runtime itself I can change the runtime I'm selecting the life ray 6.1 CE JRE itself and clicking on finish so now I have added with my life ray server now I am clicking on OK now my development environment is done now uh, we need to see our um, servers installed okay so for that for for that some people will not be getting the preview uh, view of uh, the tomcat uh, the life ray server which is configured over here for that click on window and show view and here you can go for others and you can click on server and servers so this will now show you the servers which are installed I already configured one Tomcat server over here I just wanted to configure the my runtime environment which I already configured again the life ray environment I'm um, just for that purpose click on uh, the point your mouse in this area and click on new server and go to life ray 6.1 CE and uh, go to next and click on finish so now you can see the life ray tomcat has been added over here this is which I have configured the life ray development uh, life ray um, runtime environment here with the Eclipse okay now if I want to see my uh, life ray started click right button and click on start so that thus I can see my um, life ray server started in my Eclipse ID itself I am clicking on start it will be opening up uh, the console window yeah now it is opening the console it is starting a few processes for uh, deploying the life ray uh, life ray related files and once it is started we will be able to mm, see life ray I uh, life ray the, the UI which we were uh, seeing in the administration window and all in the previous sessions we are seeing that life ray ID itself life ray not a life ray ID sorry for that life ray portal itself we can open up in our Eclipse and we can start developing our application uh, plugins for life ray in the life ray ID itself let us wait for starting this life ray server now you can see here my server got started in Eclipse here you can see uh, this has got started over here and here in the servers again I can show you here the server status is showing as started once it is shown to uh, your Eclipse you can right button click on right button on the server and open life ray portal home this will give you the life ray portal home opened in the eclipse window
the window is opening right uh, now and it will again ask us the um, in the earlier session we have seen when we are uh, setting up our liferay uh, portal that time the first time it was asking us some um, uh, installation configuration and all those stuffs it was asking us that will be again asked to us and we need to configure that and then our liferay setup will be completed one moment, uh, let us wait for opening this particular uh, Liferay home window over here. Okay, now you can see the Liferay localhost 8080 port, the window is opened up here and you can click on signing in. And yesterday we have created a login for uh, this Liferay and test at Liferay.com and test was the password. And I am clicking on signing in. It will redirect me to the home page. So the console is running with uh, prompting something, some logs and all. Okay, now I logged in as Arun and uh, you can see the portal over here. You can go to the control panel or my public pages, private pages, all is enabled for this admin user Arun. And that's it from this session. Now we have successfully installed our Liferay development environment with Eclipse and we are able to start our server within our Eclipse IDE. And in next sessions, we need to see how we can develop a portlet and a theme and a layout those kind of areas we'll be covering in our next sessions thank you for watching my life tutorial videos